On this week's special edition of Know Your Corporation, we will be focusing on one of Port of Spain Corporation's and the capital city's greatest asset, the central market. Traditionally, Caribbean markets are located in the town and draw farmers and sometimes buyers, including our CARICOM nations, to offer their goods to largely urban households. In this way, as we say it, town meets country. In 1967, the Port of Spain Corporation, recognizing that its city market was bursting at its seams, moved its main market from George and Charlotte Streets to its easternmost boundary and named it the Central Market. The Central Market was planned to be different. It began with several large enclosed warehouse structures, some for retail and one for wholesale activity. As a matter of fact, the grounds were designed for parking and circulation, not selling. The fish and meat area was completely separate from the market goods and there was no designated area for clothing and dry goods. The city corporation adopted a new approach and boldly moved the walls of two of the warehouses, one for meats and one for produce constructed shops for dry goods and clothes in the center of each building, made the stores more flexible and accommodated more for wholesaling near to the retail. They also designated more parking spaces. The central market took a new lease on life, spilling out of the now open buildings. The central market has a large customer base, from Diego Martin in the west to as far as San Grande in the east and Chironas and San Fernando to the south, with farmers coming from even farther afield like Toco. In addition, it serves the immediate neighborhoods of Sea Lots, Beetham Gardens and Laventil, functioning much in the same way as other markets across the country. It is tradition that Saturdays and Sundays are the most popular days for shoppers. While there is some activity during the week, the demand for produce spills out onto the streets and empty lots around the market as early as 5 a.m. Fresh fruit, vegetables and provision all vie for space with clothes, haberdashery, dry goods and any other item that might catch the eye of the patron and making use of every available space for display. One could hope that the lessons of the past are firmly learned so that any interventions will enhance and not remove the essence of this market. Whatever improvements are planned, the character of this different, truly central market is now firmly ingrained in this location. And this concludes our special edition of Know Your Corporation. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned to our next episode where we will continue to highlight our other departments.